What is up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Fable Joey and I am back with another video today here to review Marvel's newest movie, The Avengers Infinity War. So I just got out of seeing this movie in IMAX, super excited to give you guys a spoiler free full review. And let's just get right into it. So guys, this film, holy crap, I mean we've been waiting 10 years for this now. It has been setting up all to this basically. and. It did not disappoint. It did not disappoint at all. There were some things that I didn't like about the movie, but not that much. I don't have a ton to complain about today. And I'm just super excited to get here and see this review, like, like, get this review out because I enjoyed the movie so much that I think it would be a dishonor to the movie and to myself if I didn't review it. So, here we are. Let's start it off. So we're going to break this into categories. We're going to talk about the score. We're going to talk about the characters. We're going to talk about the special effects. We're going to talk about literally everything, so first I want to get into the score, because the score is a big, important part of the Avengers movies, and they're always really powerful scores, and I always admired the music work, but in Infinity War, the music work, or the soundtrack, is so, so awesome. You know, with this many things going on in this movie, and there's all these different portions of it, and different places, the Russo brothers really got it together with a fantastic soundtrack for this film. Because you'll switch to a part where the it's a scene with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Totally sweet Guardians of the Galaxy music. You'll go back to New York and see something like Peter Parker. And it goes back to the normal like Avengers theme and stuff like that. And the music was like really brilliantly done. And as we're leading into music, not only was the soundtrack fantastic, but the sound design is amazing. You know I love to gush about sound design. I've done it in every movie review I've ever done. And the sound design here is just absolutely amazing. It was so cool. Like, I don't know, I can really admire a good sound design in a movie because if you don't have a good sound design, then a lot of things don't sound as good as they necessarily should. And Avengers has always had a good sound design. I mean, you have so much to work with here. All these lasers and all these things happening that the sound is really important. And if you don't have a good sound design for the movie, then it really kind of feels empty. And they did a fantastic job on that. Alright guys, so let's talk about the characters. First off, I would like to start with the character interactions. Are the character interactions in this movie absolutely fantastic? Definitely. They are probably, like, even better than Civil War, because Civil, like, Civil War was a great interaction for characters in the Marvel Universe that I haven't yet met, and I'm wearing my Spider-Man attire right now, but I feel like it was such a great character interaction because I see characters like Spider-Man and Doctor Strange, my two favorite people in the Marvel Universe, having a conversation together just makes a nerd like me freak out. And it was so cool. All the character interactions were just so awesome. I loved how characters kind of changed throughout this movie. But there is one performance that we do need to talk about over everything, and that is Josh Brolin as Thanos. Wow. So we all know that Marvel kind of has a problem with their super villains and Thanos definitely if already Black Panther and a couple movies before that didn't break the cycle I think they're getting down their villains because Thanos is absolutely amazing he feels a little overpowered at points but I think that you kind of need an overpowered villain if you're going to be fighting the Avengers everyone always complains like oh why it's just the same movie every time you know they have a big ol' army come down a huge beam shoots into the sky and the last 30 minutes are just a huge action fest but Infinity War isn't really like that, and I feel like also the Avengers kind of have to, it's not, it wouldn't be very fun if there was just one bad guy, and you know, there's all the Avengers coming together to fight this one dude, so there kind of has to be an army for the Avengers to fight, or else it's insanely boring. Or you know, you can do what Civil War did and make them fight each other, which either way, either way, it still, it still ends up pretty good. So yeah, Thanos, you're fantastic, I'm so, so excited to see what else Marvel does with their villains, what else they do with the more character interactions that are coming in Avengers 4 next year, and yeah, so the characters in this movie are absolutely fantastic. Alright, so we're going to move into visual effects, and the visual effects in this movie, as they've been with the other movies in the Avengers slash Marvel, has been just absolutely amazing. Even Iron Man 1, which really started the MCU, had fantastic special effects, especially for its time. And they still hold up today, and I feel like almost every Marvel movie has that. Now, I do have some problems with CGI in some points, like when it gets a little over-adhesive in films, I get a little annoyed, but I think that Avengers Infinity War covers its CGI fantastically, because 
really, it's hard to do that when you have so many characters that are like fully CGI. And for the most part, I think they did a great part. But some of the flaws for the film for me was that some of the CGI and points didn't look exactly finished. A couple character models and I was like, okay, well they could have looked a little bit better. But for the most part, the CGI was great. It brought me more into the movie and I thought it was really, really good. Time to get it into probably my favorite part about this movie, and it seems a little childish to talk about it, but the action is amazing. I didn't think that it was going to be that good. I, I kind of tried to lower my expectations a little bit, even though I'm a huge Marvel fanboy, but I don't know. I was just like, we'll just go in with kind of low expectations, so if it's amazing, then it'll blow us out of the water. And the action is so fantastic in this film. I mean, what do you have, like 20 superheroes all on screen together? And everyone at least gets like one little moment to shine and I thought that was so cool and that is probably the biggest praise that I could give Infinity War is that it is so good at bringing all the characters together and letting everyone have its little moment which I think is so awesome and for a film this huge to do that with this many action scenes to cover and this much to go through and for every character to have just a little bit of shine and most characters to get awesome interactions is probably the coolest thing that this could ever do. I mean, honestly, we have to not take advantage of this because, like, this is insane. A couple years ago, or even before the MCU started, no one would have ever imagined that this film would even happen. And the fact that it did, the fact that we see all these people coming together in one movie is probably the coolest thing that a superhero movie has ever done before. And I just think that's absolutely fantastic that Avengers Infinity War was able to pull it off and pull it off well. Before we get into my final thoughts about Avengers, I just thought I'd talk about a little bit more of what I loved about the movie, because like I said, there isn't a whole lot. I do have some minor, minor problems with the film, but like I said, some of the CGI looked unfinished, some of the character interactions were, um, I mean, there wasn't, like, some characters that I wanted to meet up with other ones didn't happen, but I'm sure that, I mean, we still have Avengers 4, so maybe it'll happen there, and I wasn't too bummed out about it, but I did think that a couple scenes or a couple moments where it was supposed to be, like, two people, um, they kind of dragged on for a little too long. There was one scene, but, uh, I mean, I didn't really care about that. And basically, if you know that the film is separated, like, I knew this before I was going in, but the film is, like, um, it's like the Avengers are separated. So, they, you've got Spider-Man, Iron Man, Star-Lord, and, uh, let's see, sorry, Doctor Strange. They're all fighting Thanos, and then everyone else back on Earth is fighting Thanos' army. And I think that's a great way to kind of separate, you know, the Avengers, because if you all had them together, I don't know, it just seems like maybe a couple, it would, they would have been divided anyway, I mean, people would have been aiming for the main bad guy, Thanos, and people would have been going for the army, so it makes sense to split them up, and I loved how they split them up, because honestly, my favorite people in the MCU were battling Thanos, which I thought was so unbelievably cool. Well guys, here's my final verdict of Avengers Infinity War. Now, let's get this out of the way. I absolutely love this film. I think everything that it did was basically right. I think that it's a huge step forward for Marvel. And honestly, I have no idea what they're going to do next. And that was probably one of my favorite parts of the film. The film has a fantastic ending, which I love. And I think a lot of people are going to not like it as much as I did. But the thing that I had to give is this film is very ballsy. It takes things that I didn't think they were going to do. It takes things that might divide some fans. But that's really cool because that's what The Last Jedi did too. And I love that movie. And it totally divides things. I think a lot of people are going to be divided on this movie. I loved it. I think the character interactions are fantastic. The action is fantastic. The soundtrack is fantastic. It fits the film. The characters are so good. The character interactions are even better. I love almost everything about the movie, and I'm giving Avengers Infinity War a 9.5 out of 10. I think this movie is absolutely spectacular. Expect to see it pretty high on my list of favorite movies of 2018. I love seeing this film, and I cannot wait to see it again. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I loved Avengers Infinity War. Have you seen it? If you have, tell me what you thought, and maybe if this video gets enough responses I can do a spoiler filled review of this movie but as of right now I loved Avengers Infinity War go see this movie if you are an MCU fan at all I think you're gonna like it I loved it thank you guys so much for watching and my top five Marvel movies will come out soon as well as my review of season one of The Office I will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching